My name is Norman Lane. Three years ago, a ghost killed my parents. That moment launched my career as a man who hunts ghosts. I call myself the Ghost Hunter. My search has brought me to Columbia, South Carolina during one of the most haunted months of the year, February, where there have been reports of ghostly Confederate soldiers causing problems for the locals. This staff member agreed to meet with me to talk about the mysteries surrounding this haunted theater. Tell me some of the mysteries surrounding this haunted theater. Well, the theater used to be a hospital for soldiers during the Civil War. The basement downstairs used to be a morgue. Wow. Are there still any bodies down there? I don't know, man. I just mopped the floors. So, what you're saying is there aren't any bodies down there? I mean, there could be, but I don't know. So, there are bodies down there? I told you, man. I don't know. When I came here today, I noticed that you were a janitor, which says to me that you have no formal education. So, chances are, yeah, there's a lot you don't know. I'm just asking you a simple question. Are there any bodies in the basement? Wait, 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 let me guess. You don't know. I decided to investigate the room myself because this guy is quite stupid. This is it. Can you tell me more about what I should be seeing here? Well, this used to be the morgue. Students, they come down here and say that they feel people watching them. Uh, maybe a cold breeze or something. That could just be the air conditioning. Uh, there's no air conditioning in this room. Well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling any cold winds. Is it broken or? There's no air conditioning, it can't really break. Seeing as all the ghostly activity has been gone from this theater for some time, and that this funny smelling janitor was either lying or an idiot, we decided to check out another haunted location. My next stop was just a block away at a local graveyard. However, everyone knows that ghosts don't come out during the day, so we came back at night. This was much more scary, and luckily, to help entice the ghost to come out, we enlisted the help of a local self-proclaimed ghost expert named Handsome Larry. So you're Handsome Larry? Yeah, I reckon so. They tell me that you're a ghost expert. <laughs> yeah, I can, uh, I can talk to the dead. Sometimes they talk back. Wow. Do you think that you could summon a ghost for us? Eric, so, uh, wow, th that'd be great. Can we start right now? Yeah. Okay, great. Clearly, he was a professional, so I stayed out of his way so that he could work his magic. Handsome Larry summoned a ghost for us, who is apparently willing to do an interview. He says he'll do the interview if you give me fifty bucks. Fifty dollars? He says he's the ghost that killed your parents. Here. Absolutely. I had been waiting for this moment my entire life. Hi, I'm Norman. So let's not beat around the bush. Why did you kill my parents? Is that true? All this time I thought a ghost had killed my parents. I had no idea it was cancer. Really? Oh, thank you. With my life's mission of finding my parents' killer complete, I decided that day that it was time to retire from the ghost hunting business. It's time to hunt my parents' real killer, cancer. And I would stop at nothing to hunt down this cancer and stop him. I call myself the Cancer Hunter. <laughs>